I'm 62, I have four grandchildren. By the way, if you're a young parent here, take my word for it. Everything I was told about grandchildren is true. They are your reward for not killing your 16-year-old. So fight the urge, let that ingrate live. Bring you a bundle of joy. But you've never been sicker in your life you spend time around little children, little four or five-year-old kids that go to preschool. Why the CDC hasn't shut down every preschool in America is beyond me. You little Petri dishes, little lager jars running around. If you went to an American preschool and shut off all the lights and turned on a black light, it would look like the surface of the sun in that place. <laughs> Bubbling, jumping, gurgling. They give stuff to each other. They don't care. Give this one to your papa. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and that little girl will wait till I'm sleeping on the couch and she just stares at me while I'm sleeping. And you know, because of gravity, everything in her little mouth is splashing in my face. It's like sleeping under a toxic rain pipe. Just, as soon as I open an eyeball, this is from Tommy, Papa. Oh, that's Ebola, I haven't had that yet. And the worst is when they take a drink out of your water, they give it back to you, you got a seven course meal floating around the top of it. Oh, I think Papa will get a new water. Water shouldn't have 40 grams of fiber in it. And you tell yourself as a parent when they get older, that's what you keep telling yourself. When they get older, it'll be better. Yeah. I believe teenagers are God's revenge on mankind. One day God looked down over his creation and said, well, let's see how they like it to create some of their own image who denies their existence. Because I've read the Bible and never mentions how old Satan was when he rejected God's authority. My guess, 16. Devil got his driver's license and drove to Georgia. That's all I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's puberty. Something happens at puberty. My oldest son, he went through puberty at 11 years old. It took him a half an hour. I am not kidding. I'm on the road. I call home. He's 11. Hey, man, how you doing? What's going on? I called home the next night. That same boy picked up the telephone. Hello. Who are you? Put my wife on the phone and get out of my house, pal. <laughs> and they're all different. My youngest son was 6'2", 230 pounds, 13 years old. This man-child walked around our house for months. Voice never dropped. Hey, man, what are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> Come on, how do you keep a straight face during that phase of development? <laughs> He'd start yelling at his brother. We'd have farm animals showing up on our back porch. <laughs> yelling down the hall, get out of my room! He's touching my stuff, he's in my room. <laughs> hey, dial it down, man. There's two goats on the porch asking about you. <laughs> well, that's funny, Daddy. <laughs> to put that one in your dumb show. 